Hello my friends and welcome to episode 5 of my Genetic Rim series season 2. We're today facing a very very nice beginning of the foundation of a big big genetic, genetic farm. At least that's what I hope. Um, considering my situation right now quite good though. We have uh, Kitty and Fox supporting us here um, while we're giving them a place to hang. We're expanding the base to a bigger extent, getting some new geothermal um, generator down too. So overall things are seemingly quite well. Let's see how it will go today. I'm finishing the uh, pavings around the um, wind turbines today as well. I just researched the um, solar power generation too. We're good. We're really good right now. So that brings me to the point to install two of them buggers here. Just to increase my power generation a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, we have to find um, some, some new sources of iron quite soon. Because the uh, iron in my close vicinity has been uh, completely mined out at this point, sadly. We had a good time there, but yeah, I don't mind. Things are getting done quite nicely. Okay. Oh, we're out of research at this point, oopsie. So after researching the solar panels, um, Multi-analyzers would be of course a good thing, but I think I'm going to continue with uh, prosthetics because uh, at some point we all will lose some limbs and uh, it's good to have the technology to replace them available. That's something I've learned. So, out of components, that's the problem. Spaceship chunks anywhere to save me? Or do we need to mine out some some compacted machinery, hey? Hmm. Anything closer in my vicinity? Doesn't look like. Too bad. Okay, so we uh we gotta take these. Animal transport pod crash. A bed bug called Archie. Die, Archie. Bad bugs are disgusting. Even though they got a new reskin, they're still disgusting. Doesn't change my uh, opinion about them at in the least little bit. No, no. Alright. So let's uh, see how this day will go. I really want to uh, get Jackalope some, some real uh, kitchen someday, but we're not there yet. Well, um, let's uh, re replace the dumping stockpile zone. I mean, it doesn't matter where um, the chunks are being um, stored right now. There we go. Because chunks are getting hauled by my uh, little robot, so. All right, so sand lions are, they're trying to sell me a, pl a, a plot where we could uh, hunt sand lions. I'm not too interested at all. Okay, I got myself two, t two ground runners for the colony. I'm going to check out where's the turkey. There's the turkey. We're going to tame that turkey, of course. Because turkeys are quite um, good to sell to. And uh, we're going to let Archie die. Wow, a pack of five nightlings. Now that's dangerous. Nightlings are really, really annoying buggers. Um, with nightlings, you can be sure that they're going to attack you sooner or later. Um, but the good thing about the nightlings is they are um, not good at uh, staying alive. But if I would attack that pack of five nightlings right away, um, 
pretty sure we would be uh, dying a horrible death. Nightlings have a ranged attack, they have a poisonous attack, and if I remember correctly, they're pack hunters too. And uh, attacking with a melee DPS for 12, or well, 12 damage per attack, much more. And yeah, they have a poisonous uh, ranged attack too. So I'm assigning my animals to uh, the danger zone to make sure that uh, they're not um, strolling around in the vicinity of these beasts accidentally. Also, I'm really uh, considering now to hunt these things as soon as, it, as I can. Because uh, they will spread out at some point and uh, will be easier to, uh, to be killed. But right now, I don't see any chance of uh, surviving that situation if I would take it like that. So. They're going to grow hungry, I'm pretty sure. So once the walls down there are set up as well, I can expand the danger zone. Imperial ship down. A shuttle has taken damage and is seeking place to land. Alright. Tribes people from the Guagoro tribe will attack and I have to defend them. Alright. I get one trooper to defend. Um, I think I should be doing that. I feel like that's a quite easy way of um, befriending the Empire bit more so what to, what kind of uh, loot will I take do I take the glit world meds now I'm going to take the honor all right there we go and now I'm going to send my friends down there and uh, defend that So we're going to deconstruct that shuttle later on, and I'm having a trooper with that. Okay. Um, how are my peeps actually? Oh yeah, they're pretty, pretty well. Okay, now we can only wait. I really don't like it, but we can only wait. Wow, um, shuttle will be arriving in four hours. So here go. <clears throat> okay, um, yeah, sure. Good luck, Kamisa. You're really gonna need it. Ow! It hurt a little bit, or something like that. Okay, that was, uh,. Very, very uh, easy way of gaining honor. All right. <laughs> Kidding me. We'll never do hauling. Oh, we uh, actually got not only some plasteel, but also some components. Awesome. I'm running low on components, so this uh, was actually pretty, pretty good thing. All right. So all that's um, um, left to do is to wait for... Um, shuttle to arrive but they'll manage so I don't want to store human corpses in the freezer like that or at least no stranger corpses I'm okay if we store uh, colonist corpses there but uh all right these guys are already gone Nice. Okay. So that's that. Quite an easy way to gain some honor. If I knew, I would have uh, only sent one there. <laughs> but you never know before. It's over. Okay. Not bad. Um, somebody uh, tend to Enrique already? Ah, that's where we are dumping the bodies now. Okay, so I really want a crematorium at this point because I don't like to have um, 
body piles somewhere. Okay. What kind of stone block will I take? I'm going to take a, something... Something unspectacular like granite, exactly. So, I'm not assuming that this uh, area, that this dungeon here will be uh, important in the longer run for my colony, so... I'm okay with that. Yay, prosthetics! So I'm going to research the gas operation tech next. Um, thinking about putting up some production benches too soon. Because right now, my production options are really, really uh, limited, to say the least. But I don't know how many rebuilds um, my Genetic Rim series have to endure. But uh, you see there's the first uh, Nightling dead. These things are luckily having one big uh, weakness and that's uh, their quite low resilience in general. It's just the only thing um, which is not that strong on them. But apart from that, Nightlings are really bad news. Alright, so let's mine out the iron ore here. The Psychic Emitter Drone is now swapping over to male people. Alright. There's a uh, Psychic Drone um, site outside of my uh, base here. It's uh, sitting there. A psychic Emitter. It's going to die in 15 days. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to uh, get rid of it or not, basically. So... Let's see. Foxy from the Medical Goods Trader. That's a funny name. So, these guys have uh, kidneys, lungs, and livers. Mm, tempted. So, first off, I'm going to sell away my ambrosia and that peyote. Nice. Okay. Arctic lion fur. We're definitely going to produce something out of these items. But for now, I'm just going to say thanks for the silver and uh, do my thing. Because we're not really needing more than that. Okay. So, wow, we're completely out of food again. It's uh, such a... Um, it's happening so quickly with this colony every time. Okay, so we're going to... Never mind. Okay. The boom bats in the region went uh, aggro. And we're going to use Johnny and Fox to kite that uh, short-faced bear. I just hope uh, my my gunners are going to make it. They basically need to hit often enough to make sure that Fox and Johnny can kite that beast due to the stopping power. If they don't hit, the short-faced bear is going to kill us. Ooh, let's run. They are uh, swapping targets now. But luckily my friends from the caravan are uh, fighting too, so... There we go. So let's uh, take that beast down, and that's going to be a nice amount of food for us to begin with. Thanks, guys. By the way. All right. Who's the cook again? Um, that's Jackalope. Okay. So, we're going to send Johnny to uh, some money-making uh, scheme. I'm going to kill guinea pigs. Unless Johnny gets uh, wounded by the guinea pigs too hard, who knows. I sent him uh, picking up one of them and hauling the other one. So there we go. And uh, drop. They can actually carry two bodies at once. You just need to uh, assign it properly. 
Okay, there's a nightling uh, dying. Let's uh, hunt that thing before it decomposes. It's a uh, it's a waste, you know. So the uh, nightlings are taking care of themselves somehow. I don't mind them at all. I'm just paying close attention to make sure that uh, I'm going to tackle them whenever, or I'm going to harvest them whenever one is going down. So, Enrique, you're cleaning dirt. Come on, man. You can't do this instead. It's pretty bad at mining, but uh, it's uh, not that I give too much about that, honestly. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Uh, I really uh, don't like the uh, readouts in these uh, events. Okay, traders are leaving. Fire is spreading. That's just two boom bats happily exploding around the corner. So, let's uh, haul that stuff while we can. Alright. That fire is not too important at all. Oh! There's a Right opportunity to get rid of a nightling there. Nice. Major break risk on Enrique. Why? Uh, sorry, friend. We have to do this. Uh, this nightling is a very, very important target. So. You see, that's what they do. Let's uh, check out Johnny. Nasty stab, even deadly. Okay, so I gotta be uh, assigning. You see, this is so nonsensical that they care about the fire. There's so much. So, uh, because some odd reason your colonists. Uh, Consider these areas as their home zones, and I don't really know why. All right, so can everybody please uh, stop um, quenching those fires because it's uh, one of the most unnecessary tasks imaginable. Wonderful, thanks. All right, so uh, there's only two nightlings left. Still, nobody uh, took care of Johnny. So, how's that even home area? Yeah, because they have dumping stockpiles on there. It's just, uh, yeah. Home zone, home zone nonsense. You're, you're seeing that more often than you're like. Okay, so uh, we're going to clear this, of course, as a roof area. Yeah, one mad boom bad. And uh, this nightling definitely wants to. All right, he's not going to die to that. I'm not going to slaughter the bumble drone. It's uh, not too um, attractive. Okay, the ground runners are not uh, starving though, right? Right, okay, good. Just want to make sure that everything is going all right. Okay, so during the daytime we have an income of uh, 7,000 uh, watt with only 50% uh, performance on the uh, wind turbines. That's good. It's pretty good. All right. I just hope that uh, the wall area down here gets done soon. That would be very, very good because uh, this is the next important uh, building project in general.
Oh, and uh, alongside comes a uh, kitchen in here. So let's drop down the stove. I mean, in an area like this, I could have built a uh, fuel stove a long time ago, and I wouldn't have regretted at all. Because, I mean, we're living and breathing wood in this area, so it's no problem. The pack of nightlings starts to spread out um, further and further on the map. That's their typical behavior. They keep running after their uh, bigger, after their hunt, and they don't um, act as a pack autonomously. They only act as a pack as a pack if you uh, start attacking them while buddies of theirs are around. So, long story short, as long as you wait for them to uh, hunt, they're going to split apart and. Uh, Get harmless at some point. Well, here they uh, united again, but basically you get my idea. So Johnny and Jackalope are really researching a lot here. Am I approving this? Don't know. Not too happy with that. Huh. So, well, progress is make is has, is we're we're making progress, but uh, painfully slow. Um, mainly because I don't have any uh, good constructors in my colony. I mean, I, I taught Johnny somehow, and Johnny is a fast worker. He's industrious. 35% global work speed bonus. But at the end of the day, he's not the kind of person who loves to do that job, so... Oh, and also I want the uh, electric tailor bench. Very important project, too. I'm even going to force that right away because this uh, electric um, tailoring bench is pretty much um, my one of my most important uh, sources of income. So let's uh, check out what kind of... Wow, they, they pretty much need everything. Okay, we're going to make cowboy hats, t-shirts, um, pants, and dusters start out with making four of each and see where this will bring oh I'll make let's make the five and let's see where that'll bring us um jackalope is heavily configured on uh crafting and uh crafting bot already uh takes this as his job so this time I'm not assigning a zone for crafting bot because uh he's uh He's so much in the vicinity of the tailoring shop. We're going to make that later. A later thing happening. Okay. So there's a very, very good opportunity to get rid of another Nightling. And uh, besides that, Nightling leather is quite, quite valuable. And thus, I'm completely okay with hunting them guys as soon as we can. All right, somebody cut that thing into revenge, and uh, I'm not taking any unnecessary any unnecessary risks here, and I'm just uh, taking the fight into my turret um, area, and uh, going to let Fox kite that beast. So there we go. Alrighty, nightlings are also pretty nice uh, animals to tame them yourself as companions. But uh, we're, we're definitely not there right now. Bundy would have been. But uh, Bundy is long dead. Well, well. But like I said, if these things are getting close to the colony, I'm going to take them down one by one. I think that's a really, really uh, efficient way of uh, getting rid of these beasts. So I want to be uh, hauling that stuff here. Alrighty, there we go. Wasn't aware that Enrique was already so um, close to getting it done. Alright, so expanding my storage zone. There we go. So, crematorium is done soon too. Can't wait for it. Because this will be the point. Oh, and we're deconstructing the uh, wood fire generators now. 
definitely don't need them anymore. So we're burning curbs, curbses, of course, curbses, corpses, but no colonist corpses. We're also burning other curbses, the animal curbses, but only if they're rotten. Okay, it's not that funny. Um, we're going also to cremate corpses of monstrous uh, beings always. All right, so that's uh, enough of that. So we can't copy the builds of that thingy here. Don't think that uh, it's really worth. But uh, going to um, or, um, delete the jobs here but we're going to I'm going to keep the uh, stone campfire simple reason behind that it's uh, not much material necessary and it is a gathering spot where people like to relax socially so I mean who doesn't like a uh, a campfire to relax upon maybe I should drop some uh, chairs so people are can get comfy there <laughs> would be a nice idea don't you think so uh, Jackalope is uh, starting to get the clothing done. And uh, what's wrong with all those yaks? I keep getting yaks into my colonies. Every single time there's yaks. I don't know why, but they keep coming. My ice sheet colony had yaks without end. Now I have some other yak, yak the yak. Well, I don't I don't want to mutter they're they're pretty they're pretty tasty and uh, given a lot of food as well so kitty haul the other guy speaking about kitty and fox I think they might be leaving us as soon or no oh eight more days never mind all right we're having the uh, workforce of them people for a pretty much longer time nice okay so I want to do one more thing next, and that's mining out all the tin um, in the area here. So I'm going to set up uh, tin skips, two of them. And um, these are ought to be the storage area for all the tin we're going to mine out now. So gonna copy and paste all right so now I can uh, bring up these dirty rotten uh, mining orders because um, the amount of uh, tin we're going to get here will be very very high and uh, I like to have tin in larger amounts because it's a very powerful material to build with and to craft with a mad koala. Well, I don't even uh, pretend like I'm uh, caring. Okay. Okay, I care. Right? I care. So. Johnny, quickly, before the turrets waste more steel. There we go. Two stabs later. Oh, that was a, a mixture of stabs and uh, punches. I see. Not bad, not bad. Uh, the uh, ground runners are joining the work. Ground runners like to randomly mine for you. Didn't know that the uh, stacks are forbidden though afterwards. That's new to me. All right. So let's uh, issue a mining order for this complete block here. Doctor request opportunity. Thanks, but no thanks. So, how's the nightlings? Okay. Why is there no door blueprint here? That's a very, very good question. <laughs> And uh, Boomalope went mad. Okay, so this is something I want to take care of actually because uh, 
boomalopes are not that harmless anymore. Same concept as usual. Fox is going to be the decoy and the others are actually doing the killing. So there we go. And hopefully not burn down the whole uh, area here. Good lord, that's a lot of fire. So, um, I guess we're uh, seeing the next big, uh, the next big fire happening here. Well, whatever. It's not like uh, it's a real problem there. Okay, I'm getting in a lot of meat here due to the uh, psychic emitter events. You see, psychic emitter events are not bad at all. Oh. Uh, isn't that something for... Oh, crafter bot can't do that. That's interesting. So, uh, this is not a crafting job. I actually thought it would be a crafting job. That's why I'm surprised. Okay, so next big questions will be where are my peeps um, are going to live? I haven't fully decided yet where I want to put up my uh, living quarters. So, I mean, I could try and uh, put up all the quarters into the mountain, but I'm generally a uh, not too much of a big fan of living in the mountains due to the infestations. So, but with this colony evolving a lot around the uh, um, large storage inside the base, starting to consider that we're we actually might be changing things so stop defending these walls i built these walls to uh not care about fire anymore basically so uh where's that thing going uh it's attacking another uh, guinea pig all right so like just as just with the just as with the uh, other nightling, we're going to do the same thing here again. Fox is the kiter, and uh, we're going to lure it again uh, into the uh, range of the turrets, and the rest is up to my peeps. So there we go. That's number four, eh? There's only one uh, nightling left at this point. Okay. Making good progress in uh, taking them out. So, my friends, it's sadly time to say goodbye. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to do. So, the next person joining the colony, which is male, will be called Alexander. I haven't... Uh, oh, not Alexander, Marcus. I haven't forgot the uh, request of that renaming. Um, just didn't find too many people. And Enrique, when he joined the place, he was in Enrique and not a not a Marcus. So if you're watching, if the person uh, dedicated, uh, which I'm dedicating this, uh, is watching, we're going to get there. Okay. So I got the uh, refining refining. Oh, that's a nice word. Refining jobs done. So what to research next? Sterile materials. Nah. Panoxicillin, we are already got that too. Pemmican, tree sowing. Let's research no noble apparel and harps next to make sure that I'm able to uh, accommodate the nobles when they come. It's a good idea. All right, friends, so leave me a thumbs up on this uh, video if you want to support the visibility of the series. And leave me a subscription if you want to support my work as a content creator and make me super happy. Either of those or neither of those, I wish you a wonderful time and I hope we're going to see each other again soon. Until then, goodbye.